What's going on, folks? Starlight Armada here. Again. Yes, I know. But anyways, today we are going to be going to... Uh, well, capture an, an, unknown, an unknown object. So, we're just rising in the air again, you know. Kind of fast forward to... I kind of figured out how to use this fast forward crap. And it's kind of fast forward into right now, so it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We just de just got done decoupling, and now we are 14, 15, 16. All right, we're getting up there. Alrighty, folks. Now this object was getting a little too close to Kerbit for my liking, you know. And there it is. See. It's getting a little too close to Kerbin and come running right through, you know. I don't know who in hell these guys, I don't know who in hell this asteroid thinks he is, but this is my, this is my property. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, it was getting too close to Kerbin. So what I'm going to do, well, I got an idea for this thing, um, for the orbital fuel station. And um, I got an idea. So today we'll be docking with this thing, capturing this asteroid, you know. And hopefully we'll be getting it to the moon. Um, I won't bore you with all this type of stuff. You know, this stuff right here is kind of boring. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's pretty damn good. We're just coming, uh, well, our speed is at 2200. We're getting ready to slow down. And remember, folks, whenever you get to 25, slow down to half ways. There you go, right there. And whenever you hit up 26, and here we go. All right, we're almost out there. Alrighty folks, we're going to capture this asteroid, bring it into a stable orbit around Kerbin, and after that, we are going to, well, hold on folks, I'm going to fast forward to this stuff, that way you don't have to, alright, here we are, we're at, this is the first attempt, you know, as you can see, I only got one little clamp, or grabber thing, and it was, I don't know, it, it was too wobbly for my liking, I couldn't really control it, um, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a little bit. All right, here we go. We're clicked on, or we're docked, or we're grabbed on. We have the object, and this is what it is, folks. This is an asteroid. I'm pretty sure it's a size. I think it's an E or a C. Pretty sure it's. It might be a C. I don't know. I don't really know how big, you know, asteroids can get in this game, but this damn thing's pretty big. But this is my first attempt. As you can see, it does not turn and wiggle like I'd like it to. So I just kind of like, oh man. It's kind of useless, so I'm going to be sending a different one, and here it is. This one's got four of them, four grabby things, and it's a little bit more stable, you know. If you guys are going to be capturing asteroids, make sure you put at least four of these little grabby things on them. Otherwise, it's, 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 I don't know, it just makes it harder, you know. But anyways, here we are. We're going in, we're going to be docking with this asteroid, and... Yeah, well, we're going to dock with it and put it into a stable orbit around Kerbin. And hopefully, well, once it's in a stable or orbit, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can, we can, um, well, fix its, uh, I don't know, what inclination, I guess. And we can hopefully get it around um, the moon because that is where our orbital fuel station is sitting or orbiting right at the moment, you know. And we need that in order for us to go a little bit further without using any of the cheats or anything like that. You know, everything I build in this game, I always try to, like, base it off of, like, actual, you know, actual stuff NASA or, you know, UK space can do, you know. Um, these are all, all these little things are kind of in the world, in the realm of feasibil feasibility for us humans, so... I don't know. I don't really try to build like any anything else. I just try to build like like stuff that you can actually build, you know. I ain't really too much on the fantasy starship crap, but if you're into that, that's cool. I have no complaints. I myself just don't know how to use any of the physics or anything on this game, so I always kind of stay out of the cheat menu, you know. Everybody like sometimes I guess people like to use a cheat menu, but me I don't. I really don't. I like to do you know, I like building things and figuring out stuff for myself. And, you know, yes, I am I am impatient, but when it comes to my own buildings or my own things, my own contraptions, I like them to be all mine and not somebody else's. So, but anyways, with that being said, we're just gonna kind of 
right now I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I can move this thing. See, it's still a little bit wobbly, but it moves a hell of a lot better than the other one. So I'm just going to fast forward through all this, uh, I don't know, this whatever there. All right, here we go. All right, well, we got it in somewhat of a stable orbit. We've got it, you know, we've got the asteroid in a stable, kind of a stable orbit. They, I think that that little horizontal or the inclinations off or whatever the, heck, whatever the heck they call it, I don't know. But anyways, the orbit's off, as you can see. I needed to get it straight, and I needed to get it over there to the moon. Now how we're going to do that is with a lot of fuel. And trust me, folks, it takes me a lot of fuel. It took me <coughs> about three rendezvous with this asteroid, interchanging it, you know. I, you won't see it on the video, but I didn't put it in the video, but, you know, it because it took too damn long, you know. And this, you know, to me, this stuff is kind of boring, you know. And somebody sitting there probably would get bored, but I don't know. But anyways, we got to fix this inclination. Right now, we're trying to fix it. Um, we're not doing too well, but it's kind of a challenge kind of moving this thing, but it's barely going down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the inclination is kind of going down. But I'm going to I'm gonna be uh, just going to fast forward through all this stuff and, you know, get it to where the good part is. And okay, here it is. We made it. Yay! We finally effing made it. Yay! But anyways, here's the asteroid. And there's that little my little light right there. That's my that's my ship. Or not my ship, but my little my little booster thing. My orbital booster thing my bob. But anyways, we're coming into the orbital field station, folks, and we made it. We did it. This is a very big step for us. For all Kerbal kind, you know? Not just me, I mean, because it gives you guys ideas, too, on what you guys can do. Okay, so we're coming in. And we are, geez, I think, what, 8, 843 out? 843 meters out, or whatever the hell, kilometers out? So, we're just coming in, and coming in kind of slow, but, uh, yeah, that's all right. You know, gives us time. Um, with these big asteroids, you're going to need a lot of RCS. I had... You know, my last, my couple, first two rendezvous with this asteroid, um, they, it wasn't easy to move. It wasn't easy to, like, you know, roll around or get it on any of the, the nodes or anything. Inclination nodes, I guess. That's what those little things are called or something like that. I kind of figured it out. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just going to kind of fast forward to this stuff because it kind of took me a little while just to try and dock this thing. And you guys, I think in the next clip, you guys will see. All right, here we go. We're trying to dock this big ol' asteroid to our lunar fuel or orbital fuel station and as you can see it's not it's not easy um, this is like my fifth or fourth attempt trying to dock right here and I'm just kinda I'm trying to trying to get it leveled out you know trying to get it straight I'm trying to straighten it out but it just kinda ain't uh, it ain't working with me I guess but it will it will I have a lot of faith all right, we're just kind of backing it off that we don't hit the f hit the fuel station because you know we barely bump these things; they start moving. So keep that in mind when you guys are docking. Don't come in too fast, otherwise you will bump your ship and it will move away from you. From you, I did it before. <laughs> I've ran into my space stations. I blew them up. I've did any damn everything possible to this space station that you probably pretty much imagine. Um, I blew it up from running into it. I ran this asteroid into it three times already and I blew it up. So it's it's not that easy. So if you guys are going to be trying trying this, um, make sure you, you know, kind of know what the hell you're doing because it isn't it isn't the easiest as you can see. Um, anytime you try to you anytime you try to move mass around in space, you know, it's kind of a daunting task. <laughs> but anyways, we're just backing up. We're trying to get this 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 fat boy backed up, you know, trying to get his, you know, this asteroid's big ass backed up and trying to get it in there. Takes a little while, you know, it ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing this, I guess, or everybody would be playing this game. <laughs> okay, we're just lining it up, trying to get it, trying to get it perfect and right the first time, you know. Takes me a little while to do this, so, yeah, I just gotta keep minor adjustments and I don't know but other than that you know I'm gonna fast forward real quick that way you guys don't have to see all that crap alright here we go coming in trying to get it right trying to get it straight you know just trying 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 
long as well we got enough fuel um, our fuels okay RCS everything's okay so I've uh, I've redocked a new uh, new booster module to this thing so we have a lot of fuel now so well not that much fuel but we got we got enough anyways but um, I'm just glad that we could have we we actually captured this unknown object bring it in you know I didn't really think this was gonna work but it did it took me a little while to make it work though and right and as you can see we're just coming in trying to you know oh uh, crap our ass ends dropping shit we gotta fix that but nonetheless you know it's it's a daunting task putting these things together because you gotta think about everything you know think about how your machine works um, oh and there we go we got it clamped alright now anyways we just fast forward real quick just because it was boring doing going through all that crap and here it is folks here is the orbital fuel station yeah I know she's beautiful um, in the next episode we will be docking a, the Luna shuttle to this spacecraft and we will be refueling it so and I'm just hitting up the controls um, getting everything ready for refueling okay as you can see everything comes out and I gotta hit up this other one to make turn everything else on okay and there it is she's fully operational and she's ready to give fuel ready to refuel everybody and anybody as long as you got money <laughs> but anyways all I know is we did it we got it done finally 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 thanks for watching folks it's the Starlight Armada signing off you guys have a fun thanks for watching and all the other stuff Bye -bye.